What is up, tubers? You're looking at me like, what the hell is Fester up to today? All right, so here's the deal. Besides the fact that y'all are lucky as shit, that I do this for you. <laughs> this isn't for me, this is all for you, my subscribers. Even though only 4% of my viewers are subscribers, I'm doing it for you. Okay, so I just got back from the north rim of the Grand Canyon camping out. I was there for four nights. Uh, as many of y'all know who have seen my videos, inside my ground top tent, I have an air mattress. I think it's a full size air mattress. It might be a queen, I don't know, it should be a full. And then on top of that, I've got this wool blanket that I put on it because air mattress doesn't insulate you if the air mattress is the same ambient temperature as the ambient air. So that gives me a little bit of insulation. Then I lay on top of my uh, air mattress in my mummy type sleeping bag with a pillow that I bring from home off my bed creature comforts. I'm very comfortable. This has been my go-to thing for 30 years, I'm guessing. This air mattress is two years old and it was bomb proof until this trip and it started a slow leak which turned into a fast leak which I fixed back to a slow leak. So frustrated and being a fixer, I said, when I get home, I'm getting rid of this. Now, it's no big deal, really, because it was a slow leak. And when you're 60 like me, you can't sleep through the night without getting up to empty your golf ball-sized bladder. <coughs> so, when I got up at night, uh, I would just, you know, put my mouth on here puff it back up, fill it back up with air, and I was good until the morning when I wanted to get up. Also inside my tent, as you know, I've got this little short uh, folding chair uh, just to sit on and be comfortable because sitting on an air mattress on the ground is not the most comfortable. I need a little back support. I'm getting rid of all of this right here. This is all gone. At least in theory. So I'm not gonna need this. I may want to bring this. I may want to bring this, but I don't need to. Let me show you what we're gonna be doing. We are replacing everything. Now I know you're listening and you're going, what did he get? just came today in a box made in China from Amazon. You know what this is, right? Here it is. This is a folding cot. couple years after I have to use it. Boom. Look at this. $45 from Amazon. This thing's got good reviews but there's a bunch of different names because as you know shit from China is all made by one company or copycat companies. And then they rebrand them with different people's names. This was the least expensive one I could find. And that's how you lock it down. I've got pockets on both sides. And I'm not sure what this strap here is. Oh, but I'm 
guessing, I'm guessing it's going to be for tightening up the top. So, let me see how this thing feels. Feels pretty sturdy. Right. Now I realize when I'm sleeping on my air mattress, I'm inside a mummy tent. So I'm really only taking up this much landscape to begin with. This isn't bad. This, this feels good. I, I'm, I'm comfortable. I'll be able to sleep on here. I kind of sleep like a mummy. I'm a back sleeper anyways. So, here's my deal. I've already pre-weighed everything. My air mattress, the folding chair, which now will become optional, not mandatory, and the wool blanket, which is now optional, not mandatory, is going to be replaced by this. But I need some more cushion and insulating. So all my trips I've been on so far this year have been cold, at least one night. This is my backpacking air mattress. I'm going to use this, I think, three or four times. So this inflates. We'll go on here. That's inflated. I remember how to do this. Push to lock. Pull to open. Push to lock and turn. Okay. Oh man, this is very comfortable. Very comfortable. And I don't need a chair because I can sit on this and do my sitting things, pockets and everything. Now, back to what I was saying about the weight. All of that gear there weighs exactly the same thing as all of this. So weight-wise, it's not costing me anything more on the weight. I know I'm not backpacking, but when you start loading up your FJ with gear, weight does add up. And it does cost you mileage for every pound. Although it's minimal, it does add up. Now, if I remember right, I'm pretty sure this sleeping bag is a minus, not minus 27, a 27 degree sleeping bag. And I gotta tell you, it's probably been one or two times that I've experienced that cold of a temperature already this year. And, and it's only the first week of June. Ah. Thank you there. Pillow. Oh man, you know. And then when it gets really cold, this is what I look like when it's really cold. And I stay really warm. When it's only so, so cold, this is what I look like. And then, hello, I'm gonna get out of here. You gotta get out of here. And then when it's not real cold, this is how I sleep. I gotta tell you, with this air, air rail, 
and the cot and my pillow. Man, I am very comfortable. And as a matter of fact, this would be good for company coming over to my house if I needed more beds. This is nice. I am excited. I got back support. I got storage bags. I like this. I like this. This is going to work. Now, what are the downsides of this? I would have to say, let's do this. So, the pillow doesn't come into play because I needed the pillow for either one. This is mandatory. My sleeping bag is mandatory. That doesn't come into play in the equation we're getting ready to do because I need this either which way. Okay, so now I'm going to pack everything back up and put the old sleeping system next to the new sleeping system and let's compare the cubic volume of the old way versus the new way because that's where I'm going to that's where I'm not going to come out as good on a new system I'm expecting. of the new sleeping system compared to the cubic volume of the old system. Without measuring it, I'm going to say that that right there would almost be equal without measuring it. But it's pretty damn close. And as you can tell, this thing's long. It's, what's that, three feet? Three and a half feet. It will fit easily up in my uh, cargo box. So yeah, we are excited. I just gotta change that little clippy thing there. New system, old system. Now, I got room, so I'll probably bring the wool blanket. This, I will make the decision when I'm packing, depending on where I'm going, what I'm expecting to do. I have brought a, another chair before, just because I've had room. You know, this is a full-size camp chair, and I've rarely ever used it. I can't say I didn't even use it unless I used it just because I had it. But I, I don't need to bring it anymore. And this, with all the duct tape I got on here, will just go downstairs into the storage. So hey, there you go. No more air mattress, no more leaky mattresses. This really does feel good. I like it. I'm kind of excited. Alright man, so look. You gotta give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Doesn't really mean much other than you're showing your support of my channel. So that's it man. Uh, I hope you like it. If you got any comments, leave them down below. Good or bad. What you like or don't like. And I know those of y'all in rooftop tents, it's a whole nother world. Don't get me wrong, I understand the rooftop tent. I appreciate it. I just don't want to lose that landscape for storage on top of my FJ. 
Not yet anyways. I, I see the equity in the rooftop tents. I really do. Uh, it took me a while to come around, but I do see the equity in it. I'm just not there yet. I'm more of a minimalist. Uh, I don't bring cast iron pots and pans with me because they weigh too much and I'm a minimalist. Alright? So, thumbs up, subscribe. Let's see. Subscribe, thumbs up. See ya.